Hey everyone, I'm Marcel, and yes, I'm back with The Pulse. And today we're going to delve into that thankless topic of human clinical trials. Um, again, I'm not anti-human clinical trial. I like human clinical trials. I want to see more of them. I'd like to see some that go a little differently than what they've been feeding us lately. And the way that these trials have been interpreted leaves also some questions for me. First of all, if you come up on this channel and you look in the comments on any given day, any given video, you'll see an angry guy ranting, why are you talking about NMN when all of the data shows that it doesn't do anything? That's not what my data tells me. I've been taking NMN for two and a half years and I've had countless benefits. Specifically, I'm taking Do Not Age Pure NMN. Now, I don't know what NMN they used on some of these trials. Like, there's a lot of things that are open to question. How long are the trials? What is the dosage? These trials that they keep talking about, many of them are 100 milligrams. I've interacted with 10,000 people taking NMN, and I know nobody taking 100 milligrams of NMN. There are very few capsules. The only ones I know that include 100 milligrams, they're multi-capsules that have a bunch of things that I don't recommend anyway. And some of these studies, they're just very brief. They're very short-lived. And then what are they testing? Are you testing the things we're reporting? So a million people taking NMN and they keep taking it. Why don't you go ask these people why they're taking it, what they're experiencing, then find some biomarkers and test those biomarkers in a human clinical trial. That's more effort. I get it. You got to talk to a lot of people. I get it. But at least you'll have something. You'll know what to test. You'll know the dosage people are actually taking and use that dosage. Oh, it's going to cost a lot more. Okay, buy it in bulk. Get some supplement companies to underwrite some of what you're doing. If you look at these trials, these are coming from universities and labs that are funded by the drug industry. It looks like these trials are done with intent. Intent to disprove any results from NMN. Now, granted, that being said, let's look at what some of the trial data is showing or suggesting. Let's look at some of this stuff. Go to NMN.com and click on studies. And let's go through some of the studies that are listed on NMN.com. Latest study, NMN prevents lung injury from exposure to air pollutants. NMN reduces weight, cholesterol, and blood pressure in, in overweight adults, Harvard study. Newest study indicates NMN reduces inflammation and restores cognitive function. Latest Japanese clinical study demonstrates NMN insulin promoting effect. Unveiling NMN's remarkable bone preservation abilities in spaceflight, the latest study findings. New study shows NMN reduces mortality risk and restores physical function following chemotherapy. That's from the Buck Institute for Research on Aging, by the way. New aging clock predicts NMN and metformin reduce biological age. NMN increases DNA building block production for mitochondria, Japanese study finds. NMN improves diabetes-induced male infertility, new study suggests. And they go on and on and on. So you're going to discredit all these studies. You're going to ignore the ones that express the kinds of results we're feeling in this community. It calls into question the sincerity of those posting in the comments or posting video content expressing an opposing or skeptical view. It calls that into question in my view, if you're ignoring that. And I still believe that even these studies are too low dosage. So you can look at those. You want to rip apart the studies? Look at the length of the study, look at the dosage, and look what they actually test. But there's a lot of studies, loads. I just reeled off 10. There are many, many studies out there that show NMN is giving the benefits that we're reporting here. What I begin to wonder, what if the pharmaceutical company is watching what's transpiring? They see this small community, and we're a small community. There might be a million people taking NMN. Those are the numbers I heard. But we've got 27,000 subscribers. Why do they care about us? Why do they care so much about this community and what's going on here? And what it suggests to me is that maybe we're right. Maybe we're on to something here. And if you're the drug industry and you've got some method to slow us down or stop us, what steps would you take? So you're the drug industry, you've got all this power, you see NMN come up, which represents at minimum, it may not be a solution to the current drug taking only medical approach. And by the way, I have relatives, they go to the doctor, they have a problem. The first thing they do is they do a blood test and then they say, try this drug, try this drug, try this drug. And I'm like, do they ever ask you what you're eating? 
Do they ever ask you how much you're sleeping? Do they ask you, are you intermittent fasting? Do they ask you, are you exercising? What are they asking you? Have you tried quitting sugar? Have you tried quitting processed foods? And then we get blackballed for saying those things? Why don't you take a few vitamins? By the way, the supplements I take are either seaweed or pure food sources. They're just concentrated. Or they're vitamins. And that's it. It's natural ingredients, vitamins. That's all I'm taking here. So you're telling me that I'm the bad guy and I'm wrong because I'm taking some vitamins, because I'm getting results. And if you want to judge my results, go back and look at all my videos. Listen to the things I've said and then watch me and listen to me and look how often I've posted. You think I'm just in a good mood that day, every day that I post? It's kind of weird. So getting back to what would the drug industry do? Well, I think they'd utilize the FDA to try to get the substance off the market, in this case, NMN. I think that'd be a logical step. I think they'd try to get social media to suppress the audience for this supplement, like put it on some kind of scripts list. Oh, wait, they did that too. I'd try to get it removed from major retailers. Oh, wait, they did that too. Check. I'd show some half-baked clinical data that could be interpreted to our benefit. Oh, wait, that's going on too. Ignore the good data and the good results, but accentuate the results that say NMN isn't helping. Just seems funny that a lot of the logical steps you'd take to stop NMN are going on. And it does make me wonder, why are they so afraid of us? So you're a niacin guy. Great, you're getting results. Go take niacin and go post about it in a niacin thread. I got nothing against you. I'm just saying this is an NMN community. We're taking NMN. We're talking about NMN. That's what this community is. If it bothers you that we're not taking niacin, I mean, make your own channel. <laughs> Go up to a niacin channel and, and rave about it. But to come here every video and rage against NMN because people aren't taking niacin, I don't, it's strange to me. And trying to say, oh, NMN costs so much money when it's 38 cents a day, a dose. It just seems strange to me. Or you're an NR fan. Good for you. I got nothing against NR. NR boosts NAD levels. Just so happens I'm in Team NMN. I personally believe from the research I've done and the people I've talked to and the sales data I've looked at that NMN is the most compelling substance for boosting NAD levels and other things. So why don't you guys go and construct a trial after talking to the thousands of people that are reporting very positive results from taking NMN, significant changes in their lives, significant reductions in the drugs that they take day to day. Why don't you go talk to them? Listen to them and see what they're saying. And then do some blood tests that test the things that could be indicators of what they're experiencing. And then quiz them, what dosages are you taking? What foods are you eating? And construct a human clinical trial that is reflective of the human pool of people getting results from NMN. That's what I'd like to see. I believe that would be a very expensive approach. I do. And it would, be, it would require effort and time. And it would require sincerity in principle. You would have to actually want to know the truth and report the truth at the end and not have it read by 30-year-old doctors who you're going to give millions of dollars to after the fact. Like, come on. I'll leave you today with this note. I'll be 60 years old at the end of this year. I feel the best I've felt in my entire life. I'm off sugar. I've reduced alcohol to very little. I eat super healthy by anyone's measure. No matter what kind of diet you believe in, I'm eating pretty healthy. I take a few supplements and vitamins. I exercise. I feel great. I, To my own eye, I look like myself again. Yes, I'm an older version of myself at maybe 20, 25, 30, but I don't look unrelated to that person anymore. And five years ago, I no longer saw the person in the mirror who I remembered my entire life. And that matters more to me than all your angry, flaming comments trying to say that we're not honest here. It's just, it's not what I'm doing. I'm just a guy who reached the end of my life at 54, 55, had two young children, and I didn't want to go that route anymore. So I researched anti-aging, found out about Sinclair, found out about resveratrol, NMN, and some of these other substances, 
cleaned up my life in other ways. And now I got my life back and I'm happy about it and I'm posting about it. And it's fun. And if it's a slow grow and it takes us another decade to reach 100,000 subscribers, fine. Fine. I'm fine with that. I accept that. There was a moment I thought we were going mainstream a year ago, reaching hundreds of thousands of people every month. And that's when the derailing efforts seemed to begin. And I've resigned myself that that's okay. I understand what they're doing. I hope that you'll keep watching, that you'll subscribe. And if you get results, keep reporting them in the honest manner that you do. And I'll keep going. And I'll keep beating the drum and I'll keep pursuing a healthy life with my children and restarting a music career that I gave up on decades ago. And I'm going to keep doing those things and I'll keep reporting back to you. With that, I'll see you soon.